Today we're going to discuss the five worst hairstyles that any man can wear. Well, almost any man. My name is Joe Vinci. I've been a barber for over 10 years and trust me, I know a thing or two about a bad haircut. So these are going to be in a specific order. I'm going to be describing to you the not as bad to the absolute worst haircut that you could possibly see. So number five is going to be the bowl cut. Now I have to clarify that some bowl cuts do look good. Haircuts like this, I would not quite consider a bowl cut. When I say bowl cut, I mean something like this. I'm talking it literally looks like they carved the bowl and put it on the top of your head and shaved underneath it. The straight across bangs, the no blend, the flatness, it just does not look good in my opinion. And number four, I had to bring this up, is the rat tail. Now, I have not really seen the rat tail too much lately, but a few weeks ago, I did see it on somebody and it was pretty horrendous to see. Now, I'm not talking like a mohawk where the back is just a little bit longer than the rest. I'm talking a full out rat tail where the sides are shaved and the back is like a foot long, we gotta stop this. And number three, I know I'm gonna catch a lot of smoke for this like I did with my other video, but it's gotta be the Peaky Blinders haircut. The Peaky Blinders haircut, the sides of his haircut are not blended. So this and this are two completely different haircuts. You have to understand that there's no blend here whatsoever. This is just shaved up, leaving a blunt line in the head and it does not look good, gentlemen. I want you to see that if you go in and ask for the Peaky Blinders haircut thinking you're gonna get this, you are gonna walk out with this right here and you're gonna be an eyesore to everybody and it's not gonna be in a good way like you think. Maybe, yeah, if it's for a Halloween costume. But if you have an office job and you just watch this show at night and you thought it would be cool to wear this haircut, let me save you the trouble, don't do it. You're not gonna like it. Number two has always bothered me a little bit. And this is gonna be the unblended mohawk. I'm not talking about cool looking mohawks like this, like this, or even like this. These are a completely different story. These look great. I do them all the time and I absolutely love doing them. What I'm talking about is something like this. Something like the rocker style here where it's just spiked up, unblended, shaved up on the side of the head. This haircut is just not a fit for anybody. Maybe unless you're in a band and you're on stage, then yes, it's going to be a great haircut for you. But for the average guy just looking to try something new, this is not going to work. Number one, this was easy. I had to put this in here as number one because this bothers me so much. I can't stand this haircut. And this is dreadlocks. But hold on, let me clarify, on white guys, black guys and Latinos, you guys can pull this off. People like me cannot wear this hairstyle. First off, straight hair is not meant to be dreaded. So a lot of white guys that have dreadlocks, you'll see flakes in their hair and it just looks dirty and they start to smell after a few days. It's just gross. This hairstyle is meant a little bit more for somebody who has naturally curly hair. White guys, just, we gotta stop this. This is just a terrible look. I gotta say like nine out of 10 times, I don't like it. There's a very few that I've seen that can pull it off. But overall, most white guys will not look good with dreadlocks. So that wraps it up for me guys. Remember, this is just my opinion. If any of the haircuts that I listed you think would look good on you, then go for it, give it a shot. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I look at hair 40, 50 hours a week for the past 10 years. I've studied hair, I've tried different hairstyles on many different people, and I've just learned what works for some people and what doesn't work for others. And I had to share it with you guys. So if you agree with me or disagree with me, let's discuss in the comments. In the next video, I could talk about five of my favorite hairstyles for guys. This one I could talk about for days. I'll probably have to do 10 haircuts. Thanks for joining guys.